Rob, let us get right to it. Giannis Antetokounmpo signs a massive deal, the biggest deal in NBA history, five years, $228 million. It's an extension that will keep him in Milwaukee for the next six seasons, including this one. Now, he does have an opt-out, you know, after four, but he'll be there at least the next five years. Which and, is great. Uh, yes, it, it is, it is, you know, it, it is a great move for him. I'm happy for him because he did what he wanted to do. And, you know, it's his life. It's if he's happy in Milwaukee, then that's where he should stay. And I'm glad he had the courage to do what he wanted to do because, Rob, and, and I'm just going to be short here because I know you got a lot to say, and then I'll, I'll play off of you. But he bucked the trend because everyone else pretty much on his level has sought the super team or at the very least the super duo. Obviously LeBron, obviously Kevin Durant. Kawhi Leonard said, I'm not going to the Clippers unless I can get Paul George to go with me. Uh, Anthony Davis leaves New Orleans to go play with LeBron. And now James Harden is trying (laughs) to leave Houston to join Kyrie and KD in Brooklyn. So, Props to Giannis for being his own man and uh, doing what he wants to do. And we'll get into the basketball stuff momentarily. But I know, as you mentioned, you had the baby oil out, and it was quite a sight. Uh, I I hope I can get that sight out of my mind (laughs) uh, quickly, but but it was quite a sight. Uh, All I'm going to tell you is my ex-wife has been scarred for 15 years, so it might not get out of there. (laughs) But anyway, Chris Broussard, yes, Giannis did uh, what uh, a lot of people around NBA America was hoping, which was to stay put. He got paid. He decided he wasn't going to join uh, the others in this whole lunacy called the AAU building super teams, you know, messing with competitive balance. And I, I sit here today and I say, Giannis saved the NBA. He oh, really God. did. Yes, it, it's that big because he could have easily, Chris, took the easy way out. There were so many people and teams that wanted him. Hey, you know, they lost to Miami. Come to Miami and be a, a part with Pat Riley. Come down here. Force your way out of Milwaukee. Who wants to be in Milwaukee? Or you could wait uh, and then wind up going to Golden State. Or he could have called Anthony Davis and said, you know what? Hang out, you know, one more year. Don't sign a big deal. I'll come and 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 LeBron's on his way out, or I, we can, all three of us can play. And then he didn't do any of that. He said, "I'm going to do my own thing. I'll build my own team here in Milwaukee, a small market." And he gives hope to a lot of people in NBA America. This was a rejection of LeBron James's NBA. Because oh, gosh. I, yes, and because LeBron is the one who started this, and it's not about you know LZ Granderson uh, hit me up on uh, you know commented on Twitter about something I wrote, and where he's misguided, and, and I didn't tweet him what back, did, but what, I'm just what saying. What did you say? It was just a, it was about player empowerment, and and Danny Ainge could put together a team, but LeBron can't. And my point that's what is, LZ said. that's what LZ said. Right, okay. and, and my point though was that it's not that I'm against free agency, Chris. You know I'm not. I, 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 I've, I've been the biggest proponent of uh, free agency and, you know, and, and, and how it came about and how important it is. And even way before LeBron, there was a chance that uh, Tracy McGrady, Grant Hill, and uh, Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan, were going to uh, go to Orlando, but there was no yeah. sinister plan like, oh, we're going to get together, trump everybody, and win every all the championships. It wasn't built yeah, out of that. Yeah, but ultimately, no. Rob, that was in the back of their mind. We want to win that, But that's not, no, that's not where we are now. And this is LeBron's doing. And the same people who complained when LeBron lost to the Warriors because they had a stacked team – LeBron got his own medicine, and this is what I've been saying, Chris. You can't be a LeBron guy and and try to poo-poo what the Warriors did because 
it stopped LeBron from winning and 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 uh it wasn't fair because that's what LeBron was trying to do when he went to Miami. Right. I give you that. Make, I give you that. Right? Make it unfair. Uh, stack the deck in his favor. So for for Giannis to do this and buck the AAU uh, uh, way of thinking in this country with basketball players, it used to be the old days where guys would want to beat each other. And then here's the other part of it, Chris. You know this. The journey is what makes it so sweet. It is is you don't want a, a, a add water and player stir and win a championship. That's not, and even the guys who get them late, like the Gary Paytons and whatnot, not, yeah, they that, don't that, they don't feel as good, Chris, and you know it. Yeah. It ain't the same. Even Payton, I mean, granted, he's proud of his ring, but yeah, it wasn't the same, and he knows it of him leading a team. This is what being, I'm saying, you know, right? If Gary Payton could have won a championship, right, with Rain Man up in Seattle, don't tell me right. that wouldn't be special even to Milwaukee, him. Milwaukee, yes, yeah. yeah so, yeah, so my that. only point is. That yacht, part of it is the journey. And for people to try to act like at 25 years old, Giannis is a bum if he doesn't have a championship, there's a growing process, a maturation that goes on. I'm proud that he's willing to take this journey and he's willing to do it in Milwaukee. And it doesn't mean that somebody else can't come join him, Chris. But today, thank you, Giannis, for saving the NBA, not making it so one-sided, so that people just have to tune in come playoff time because today was a victory for small markets and for everybody who doesn't live in NBA America elite. Okay, okay, enough, Rob Parker. Will you stop it with the freaking sob story? My Giannis saved the NBA. Look, I'm proud of him too. I give him props for having loyalty, for having the courage to be his own man, to do what he wanted to do. But stop going too far. Stop it. I mean, you act like this is all, like players haven't always done this. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar left that very same Milwaukee Bucks franchise in the mid-70s and Different forced reasons. the trade to the Lakers. Yeah, because he wanted to be in L.A. Yeah, that but any Milwaukee, better? Is that Milwaukee any better? Compared, Milwaukee compared to, to L.A. during that whatever, time. Whatever, whatever. It, it, had a lot, it had a lot to do with other things. That's fine. All I, hold on. You had your turn. I said, and you go ahead. I'll step back. Com- you know, competitive balance and, you know, there's no competition. My goodness, before Giannis decided to stay. We got the Lakers. We got the Clippers. We got Denver. We've got, we would have had Golden State had it not been for injury. We've got Brooklyn. We've got Boston. We've got Philadelphia. I mean, we've got competitiveness. In the 1980s, Rob Parker, which was the golden age, five teams total reached the finals. The Lakers, the Celtics, the 76ers, the Rockets, and the Pistons. That's it. So stop it with the nonsense about all 20 and not all 30 teams have to be competitive. Woe is me for the small market. No, no, no. No, no, you, I'm not you know done with wrong. you. I'm not done with you yet. And here you go. Uh, uh, there's something about the journey. There's, you know, who wants an add water and stir championship? You, Rob Parker, praise Kevin Durant. I'm calling hypocrisy because the day Kevin Durant went to Golden State, you lambasted him. You demolished him. You criticized him to no end. And I sat on TV that very same day and said, all of you people out there, who are killing Durant right now when he has a championship, two championships, maybe three, and one or two or three finals MVPs, you'll be singing a different tune and you'll look like a hypocrite. You talk, There's no more air, water, and stir championship than what KD did in Golden State. And, and, and then Giannis, you're saying it's about the journey. What if he doesn't win? 
He'll be like Charles Eight Barkley, and Charles now, Barkley's still a great player. And he'll be Charles will you Barkley. you be praising him for staying put, or will you be ripping him because he didn't win a ring? It depends on what he does. Does he improve his game? It does he depend, get better? Yes, it does Kevin matter. Just yes, he won. it does. No, I did not. Period. I ripped Kevin Durant, and and I ripped and LeBron for doing him. it. No, I just praised him that he stopped LeBron in his tracks, and it came back to bite he LeBron. Hit That's the, the only good shot. part. I mean, you know, he hit a shot over LeBron. I mean, he had a freaking. You talk about a super team. My goodness. Of course, he hit the big shot. They were too worried about Steph and Clay to guard him. I mean, I'm calling foul. You went too far. That's all I'm saying. And I don't want our audience to be hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, taken to the cleaners. I want them to know the truth. And here's the other thing. When you said Are you done, he Malcolm? saved the NBA, had he, <laughs> had he gone, and I'm, look, again, I'm fine with him staying in Milwaukee, Rob, but let's keep it real. If he went to Miami, do you think that would be bad for the NBA? Yes, it would have been bad it because been it would awesome yes. for the NBA. No, it wouldn't. It's just like when LeBron went down to Miami and and upset that was the awesome apple cart. For the NBA. No, it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't, Chris. Because People you know loved why it, it wasn't you know because that, Rob? because you're 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 looking at it from your standpoint. You're a national guy. You cover it. But there's a lot of towns with despair. And when you talk Everybody about the 80s. Everybody outside of Cleveland you, loved nah, it. No, nah, no. A lot of people And I was in like Cleveland. It. I'm just saying, you know the Nat. I mean, they were, ratings were through the roof. They were this super team, ESPNs at their training camp. I mean, you just went too far. That's all I'm saying. All right, Mr. Happy in Cleveland. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports <laughs> Radio. What's up, Mr. Happy? <laughs> hey, what's happening, fellas? What up? Hey, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trashing you today for that take, Rob. Go ahead. So here's um, and I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to, real quick on two points here. The first thing is coming from Cleveland, from a small market, we have our teams that we like, but we also have other teams, you know, because typically your team's not good. So <laughs> in Cleveland, you have fans who are maybe fans of like uh the Knicks or Lakers or something like that. Mr. He Happy, that is like so LeBron weak. was that a is, Cowboys that's, that's fan. That's so weak. Hold on, Rob. Le- you didn't rip Le- LeBron was a Yankees fan and a Cowboys fan. That was fan. weak. You ripped that was weak. You He's loved that LeBron was a Yankees fan. Personally, I like the Mavs. I think I, I would have liked to have seen him go to the Mavs. And then my second point is think about it, man. We like the Iron Man movies. We like the the Captain America movies, but we love the Avengers movies, man. We want to see Clash of the Titans. We want to see the the, the stars mm. get together and just go at it, man. That's that's how I feel about it. All right. Well, if this is going to be the way you are on the hot seat this week, you're going to get trashed, Mr. Happy. I feel bad for you. Uh, Joseph in Pennsylvania, you're on. 